Hello good people, it's Rob Lee. We're going to do a video today. We're going to look at the faith, the great faith of the Roman centurion. And this was one of the more powerful encounters that Jesus had about faith. And I think it's important that we talk about it because it's something that we all need. And I, I know sometimes it's hard, but we can have it. And it takes, a, it takes an understanding for us to give all of ourselves to our Father and to give all of ourselves to Jesus the Christ to have that faith. So this is the strong faith of the Roman centurion. This is Matthew chapter 8. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus saith unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me, and I say to this man, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh, and to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled, and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you, that many shall come from the east and west, and shall sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so it be done unto thee. And his servant was healed in that selfsame hour. It's about faith and belief. Of course we have to get up every day. And the Bible tells us to try to be righteous and to try to be perfect, to fear our Almighty Father, and to try to be the best children that we can possibly be. But we must believe. We cannot please our Father if we do not believe. And you have to have faith. Hebrews 11.6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Not only is it impossible to please him if you don't have faith, but this is how the Father rewards you when he, he looks out for you. Because he knows that you believe and you are willing to go out of your way to do what's right before him in front of his eyes. And we know that evil is always going to try to come against us. We know this. And we're going to read from Ephesians 6:16. 6, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And what do we do when the evil of this world, seen and unseen, sends fiery darts to us? How do we put them out? Well, we put them out with the living water that is Jesus Christ. That's how we put them out. Let's read Revelation 21:6. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. That is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Alpha and the Omega. He gives to us freely. Revelation 22:17. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. So, Faith, belief, trust, doing the best that we can do every day to please Him. And then we should have the utmost confidence that when we pray, we will always be heard. In fact, the Bible bears this out. So, when the evil of this world sends fiery darts, how do we quench them? We quench them through Jesus Christ. May the Almighty Father bless each and every one of you in the name of the only name, the King of all kings your Redeemer, and your everything, Jesus Christ. Amen.